Good morning, Morris Brandon students, faculty, staff, families. We are back. It is Monday, day six of our specials rotation. It is October 19th. There's a fall crisp in the air. Finally, Mr. Yes. Hudson, I see you over there. Good morning, good sir, with your anti-bullying shirt. I love it. How are you, sir? Good morning. It's still anti-bullying all this month, all this year, as a matter of fact, as we're concerned. There's totally no place for bullying at Brandon. Yep. Well, let's get started with it, shall we? All right. All right, boys and girls. This is Emily Hopkins today from Ms. Gaither's class. Let's see how she does. Put your hands over your hearts. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Wow. Amazing, amazing job, Emily. Emily the ballerina, it is not easy to do that on camera, and you did a great job. Great job. All right, so as we continue to roll through the month of October, open-minded is our IB word of the month, and we're gonna hit on some very important points this, this week and this month. The first one being that open-minded people are curious to hear what others think. A lot of times, we don't wanna hear what others think. We are waiting for our turn to speak next but open-minded people want to hear what others think and sometimes can change their actions and behavior based upon that. So when you're open-minded, you listen. And that takes us right into SEL moment and responsible decision-making. And as you know, this is Digital Citizenship Week. We are in Digital Citizenship Week where we'll be talking about making responsible decisions, looking at your digital footprint. Some of you may not know about that right now, but it is very important because you as young children, your digital footprints are being created younger and younger. I don't think mine started until I was in my 20s, but now with social media and the news, it's a very important thing. So let's tune in and watch about being responsible. <laughs> Imagine if you threw an empty plastic bottle on your bedroom floor. Now, what if it's a bunch of bottles and they spill into the street and eventually end up in the ocean? Your action would have a ripple effect. It would affect you, your community, and even the world. And just like what we do in person, what we do online has a huge impact. What we say online, what we share online, and what we create online doesn't just affect our lives, but the lives of our families, friends, community, and people all around the world. That's why it's so important to think before we act. Use the rings of responsibility as your guide. Always be responsible to yourself, to your community, and to your world. Now it's time for the joke of the day. What do you call a person who can't flip pancakes? I don't know, Mr. Hudson. What do you call a person who can't flip pancakes? A flip flop. <laughs> a flip flop. I love it. I love it. All right, well, let, guess what, boys and girls? We don't have any birthdays today, October 19th. So let's see some important history events that happened on October 19th. Well, in 1947, the Federal Works Administrator had said the minimum wage of 40 cents per hour is obsolete and should be changed to 75 cents per hour. Pretty interesting. A minimum wage is a lot higher than that now, hopefully. Wow. October 19th in 1960, about Dr. Martin Luther King was arrested along with 50 other people for violating Georgia's newly enacted anti-trespass law after staging a sit-in protest at eight stores in downtown Atlanta. So it's a pretty historic day for civil rights as well, October 19th. 
All right, I also want to talk about this. So I want to say congratulations to fifth grader Miss Addie Patton for winning the design contest for the fifth grade shirt. Look at this awesome drawing she did. I see a globe, because we're IB. I see a beehive, a backpack, some zoom icons. I love it, I love it. Each year, Morris Brand and fifth graders celebrate their last year at the Hive with a fifth grade class shirt. At the beginning of the fifth grade year, they were invited to submit designs for this shirt and a huge shout out to all the fifth graders who designed it. We love seeing your ideas. Addie Patton, the winner, but big props also to Miss Heron, the fifth grade chair who puts it all together. We salute you too, teachers. All right, and students, remember to wear your shirt on Monday, October 26th, all right? Great job, Addie. Great job, students. All right. Have a great day, everybody.